The final update to Iceborne is here, and with it comes one of the toughest challenges in the game. Fatalis the Black Dragon will test even the best of hunters. So I'm Darkblade with an anti-Fatalis build for the Heavy Bowgun in Monster Hunter World Iceborne. Now the main purpose of an anti-build, sometimes known as a counter build, is a set that's made to take on a specific monster in the game. And whilst in all honesty, Fatalis can be pretty much taken on with any set, the builds featured in this series are aimed to make the hunt more manageable. The Heavy Bowgun is in an unusual place when it comes to taking on Fatalis. There seems to be two approaches. You either go with a build focusing on sticky ammunition or you go for a build focusing on spread ammunition. Sticky ammunition means that you'll be dealing efficient damage regardless of where you hit the monster, whilst with spread ammunition you can deal massive amounts of damage but only to a select few spots on the monster's body. Now for the purpose and demonstration of this build I'll be showing off a spread ammunition build that comes with a ton of defensive skills to increase your survivability against Fatalis. So for this build you'll need the Brachydium Helm Alpha, the Golden Loon Male Beta, Brachydium Braces Beta, Golden Loon Coil Beta and the Brachydium Greaves Beta. I'm also using a Challenger Charm 5 and for my weapon I'm using the Stygian Humilatus, which is the Stygian Zenoga Heavy Bowgun. To be honest you can replace this if you so wish so long as you have a heavy bowgun that is efficient when it comes to spread ammunition. As for the augmentations I've simply gone for an attack increase and then you would have an augmentation of your choice something like defense boost would do but you only have room for a one slot augmentation so it's not really that important. As for the specialist tools I've gone for a temporal mantle and rock steady mantle as I always do for protection and damage resistance. So when it comes to the jewels you've got a few to play around with, so I've gone for a shield jewel for the guard up skill, a jumping jewel for the evade extender skill, critical jewel for the crit boost skill, iron war jewel to max out the guard skill, destroyer jewel for part breaker, vitality jewel for the health boost skill, spread jewels for the spread shot skill and a fortitude jewel for the fortify skill. As for the jewels on the mantles, again as always I've gone for heavy artillery jewels for the heavy artillery skill. So if you've done what I've done here you'll have a build with 150 health, 100 stamina which will be 200 health and 150 stamina when you're on a hunt and taking all your relevant consumables. You have a raw attack of 473, you have 0% affinity which can be potentially 70% when you're taking into account the effects of weakness exploit as well as the agitator buff. You have average deviation. When it comes to the custom mods I've gone for 4 shield mods so we're able to effectively block pretty much all of Fatalis' attacks bar its ultimate as well as a close range up mod. If you are feeling more confident in your ability to play the heavy bowgun close up you could drop some of the shield mods for more close range up mods or if you wanted to increase your damage even more you could go with the special scope. But as I've stated many times I find the special scope disorienting so I rarely use it with the heavy bowgun. As for the special ammo you have the wyvern snipe making it easy to tenderize the monster. As for your defense you have a decent defense of 1055 that is strong against fire and dragon but weak to the other elements. So when it comes to the skills first of all you have agitator at level 7. Agitator is a skill a buff that kicks in whenever a monster becomes enraged. When this happens you'll gain increased raw attack as well as bonus affinity. And in Iceborne as you can normally control when a monster becomes enraged thanks to the whole flint shot mechanic it means that this buff should be active for the majority of the hunt when you're actually attacking the monster with your weapon. You have guard level 5 which is a skill that increases how effectively we can block monster attacks reducing the knockback as well as the stamina consumption used to block those said attacks. Guard at level 5 combined with 4 shield mods on our heavy bowgun means that we can effectively block all of Fatalis' attacks and follow up the blocks quickly with a shot of our own. Anyway you have divine blessing at level 5 which is a decent defensive skill that gives us a chance at taking reduced damage when we take a hit from a monster. So should we mistime our shots and not block an attack, the Divine Blessing should hopefully reduce the damage from that attack. You also have Health Boost Level 3, which allows our health to get to that maximum of 200. You have Weakness Exploit Level 3, which is a decent skill that increases our affinity whenever we're attacking monster weak points. And should these weak points be tenderized through Clutch Claw attacks first, this increase to our affinity is even greater. Weakness exploit at level 3 can potentially provide us an extra 50% bonus affinity. You have part breaker level 3 which makes it easier for us to break monster body parts and this is kind of essential for the Fatalis hunt as Fatalis has a mechanic where if you break its horns it powers down the monster. If you don't break the horns especially by phase 3 of the fight Fatalis will gain blue flames which can pretty much one shot any hunter. So long as we're attacking the head part breaker gives us the optimal chance at breaking the horns and surviving the later phases. 
You have Evade Extender level 3, which is a quality of life skill for the Heavy Bowgun, which increases the distance at which we roll. One of the Heavy Bowgun's biggest cons is that it's a slow weapon, with slow movement speed. Evade Extender kind of counters this and allows us to move around the battlefield quite quickly without having to sheave our weapon all the time. You have Spread Shots level 2, which is a skill that increases the damage of spread ammunition. We have Critical Boost level 1, it would have been nice to get this higher, but as we don't have a 100% affinity it's not that essential. Critical Boost is a skill that increases our damage whenever we crit a monster. However, this only applies to the raw portion of an attack, not any elemental or element portion. You have Fortify level 1, which is a useful skill for tough hunts. Basically every time you cart and faint, you'll come back with increased raw attack and defense. This buff can be applied twice during any one hunt. You have Guard Up level 1, which is a skill that allows us to block unblockable attacks. And this is pretty much essential for any shield build that you're using against Fatalis. And then finally, when you're wearing your mantles, you'll have Heavy Artillery level 2. This is a skill that increases the damage of the Heavy Artillery found in Trade Castle by 100%. So as always, whenever you're firing a cannon or using a ballista, make sure you have a mantle ready before firing the weapons. And then finally when it comes to the set bonuses, you'll have two of them. First of all is the Brachydios Will, Agitator Secret, which allows us to get the Agitator skill from level 5 to a maximum of level 7. And you'll also have the Gold Raffian Essence, Divine Blessing Secret, which allows the Divine Blessing skill to go from level 3 to a maximum of level 5. So there we have it, that is the build I'd recommend for taking on Fatalis with the Heavy Bowgun. As you can see this is a very defensive build and it's not going to get the hunt done super quick. So with that in mind you have to always attack the weakest points on Fatalis with your spread ammunition. Namely the chest or if you can hit it the head. Surprisingly the chest is actually the best spot to hit with your spread ammunition as it does the most damage but you'll still want to break the head in order to survive the later phases of the hunt. But every build out there has pros and cons. When it comes to the pros on this build, its biggest one is its guarding capabilities. Thanks to having guard at level 5 combined with guard up, it means that we can block pretty much all of Fatalis' attacks bar its ultimate. On top of that, we're able to follow up blocking attacks with attacks of our own quite effectively as well. The next pro this build has is the quality of life skills it comes with. From Divine Blessing, Health Boost to Evade Extender, these all make the hunt feel a little bit more easier than they are. And the final pro is that again this build has decent damage output. Not the highest, but by no means the worst. It's still able to do the hunt so long as you're attacking the right monster body parts. But unfortunately every build has cons. One of the biggest cons for this build is unfortunately it doesn't have 100% affinity. Thus the damage output isn't as high as it possibly can be. You can drop some survival aspects like points in guard, divine blessing and such if you wanted to increase your DPS but obviously this will reduce your survivability. And the other con for this build is unfortunately as with every bowgun you're going to have to go back to camp often to restock on ammunition or craft ammo during the hunt. But regardless if you're a heavy bowgun user and you're looking for a build to take on for Talos I'd recommend this one. It has enough DPS to take on the hunt but its shining aspect is its survivability. As long as you're not being greedy when it comes to blocking Fatalis' attacks, this build should easily allow you to survive the hunt. On top of that as well, a quick shout out if you see some of the speedruns, the majority of them are done using spread ammunition heavy bowguns. So this build does have DPS potential if you're willing to drop some survival skills. The choice is up to you. So there we have it, that is the build I recommend for taking on Fatalis with the heavy bowgun. Of course as you farm the monster more and more, you'll get Fatalis weaponry and gear, which is some of the best in the game, and will allow you to take on the hunt more easily. But until then, this build will work just fine. So until next time, I've been Darkblade, bringing you an anti-Fatalis build for the heavy bowgun in Monster Hunter World Iceborne. Hope you enjoyed the video, thanks for watching, subscribe and like for more.